First time homelessness is rapidly rising in Colorado. A new report from the Colorado Coalition for the Homeless highlights the need to build homes for our state's lowest income residents. And tonight we have an in-depth look at that report. So take a look at this graphic. It's from the report. It explains concepts of renting up and renting down in Colorado. The concept of renting down is portrayed by a household earning $80,000 a year. Now a person can afford $2,000 a month in rent, but select a unit for $1,600 a month to save money. Compare that to renting up. A household earning $35,000 a year, they can afford to pay $875 in rent, but have to pay $1,100 a month due to the lack of affordable housing. And that lack of housing means more people are ending up on the street. And that is having a dramatic impact on life expectancy. Denver 7's Micah Smith digs into this part of the story and how encampment sweeps are playing a role. We will remember a report on homelessness that the Colorado Coalition for the Homeless releases every year is getting national attention. Recently, the coalition's work was cited in the Journal of the American Medical Association, JAMA, which found sweeps or homeless encampment cleanups lower life expectancy. You know that people experiencing homelessness have a 20 year um, less life expectancy than house individuals. We dove into the coalition's numbers with Chief Communications Officer Kathy Alderman. Alderman says most deaths of people experiencing homelessness in Denver in 2022 were from drug overdoses with links to fentanyl. And from 2021 to 2022, the average age of death for someone experiencing homelessness in Denver jumped from 47 and a half years old to over 50 years old. And that's alarming because one, we know that represents a statistic that more people that are aging are starting to fall into the cycle of homelessness. And Alderman says for people of all ages on Denver streets, sweeps intensify the issue. And the reason they're disruptive is because Sometimes somebody may be camping somewhere and they have a relationship with a case manager and that case manager is just waiting for their housing application to go through. Um, and they may get that news. And if somebody is no longer where they used to be, um, they can't deliver that news and that person may suddenly become ineligible for housing. Sweeps also disconnect people from their, their survival needs. So they may have medications um, that get thrown away. Alderman says the national recognition of the coalition's report is great, but solutions to the problem remain the same. Supportive housing. And Alderman says housing literally determines how long someone lives. Reporting for Denver 7, I'm Micah Smith. All right, sports.